What's going on guys? I am out here at the Houston RV Show and we have been all over this place looking at unique floor plans from different manufacturers. One brand that I don't focus on too much and I kind of regret that I don't because it's a really good, what I consider to be a value oriented brand, would be the Wildcat by Forest River. So with me today, I got my new friend Glenn. So Hi there. Glenn is the manufacturer representative for Forest River's Wildcat division and he's going to walk me through a few units today. So. You excited to uh, show me what, what we got in store? Yes, I am. Outstanding. Guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so I typically go around, look at the sticker so I can see the GVWR, the uh, cargo capacity, but you guys put all that on the door right here, don't you? It makes it a little easier for the consumer when they're shopping. It sure does. Especially if you're trying to figure out if you have enough truck. <laughs> that's one of those areas that a lot of times people are under a misconception about the truck they have and what it's capable of. And Glenn's not aware, but my big channel is a proponent of safe towing and making sure you have more than enough truck for whatever you're going to be towing. So this specific unit has a gross vehicle weight rating, um, let's just say 14,000 pounds. And it has a cargo capacity of 2,797 pounds. So you actually got quite a bit of cargo capacity. Uh, is the hitch weight, do you know if it's based off dry weight or loaded weight? That's off the dry weight. Off the dry weight. So yes. your actual hitch weight, when you load this thing up, hopefully you don't put a ton and a half of stuff inside of here. <laughs> but when you load this up, you know, on average, that'll probably spike up by another four to 500 pounds. Yeah, at, at the most. Yeah. At the most. Yep. So you'll probably be in the 2,800, 2,900 pound range, fully, fully loaded. Yes. So that would make this thing a comfortable tow for most modern three quarter ton trucks with a max payload package, gas engine probably. If you go diesel, you know, you're probably just going to want to make sure you have a truck that has a total cargo capacity of around 4,000 pounds. That's going to give you enough for the hitch, all the people in the vehicle, plus the loaded weight of this specific trailer resting on the back. Would you agree? Yes, I would. Absolutely. I appreciate Big it. Big believer in, you know, the, the tow vehicle is very important to, to be focused on that weight and GVW. Yep. For absolutely. sure. Absolutely. All right. So exterior width, 96 inches. I really don't want to go over all of this, so I'm just going to hand it over to you, and you tell me a little bit about this unit we're looking well, at. Well, this this is a new new series for us this year for 2023. It's the Wildcat One series, and what we've done in the past, all of our Wildcats have all had just like every other fifth wheel manufacturer in the industry. We've added this and added that and added and add and add and add and add. Well, as we've added and the price went up, we decided that we were going to get back to the basics and start with a basic well-constructed fifth wheel. We don't have a lot of the things that a lot of the people have always demanded over the years, but when it comes right down to it, do we really need auto level? Do we need the uh, high-tech sound system? Do we need a satellite? Do we need a outside TV and an outside kitchen and all these extra things that just raise the price? Yeah. Most people at camp have their own barbecue grill, so we don't need to build one in. Mm -hmm. We don't need to put a satellite. Most people use a portable satellite. You know, there's a lot of those things that sound systems, most people nowadays using wireless Bluetooth stuff. So we've taken a lot of that out and tried to get the price point back to an affordable fifth wheel. Mm -hmm. But it has all the basic stuff. We're a well-constructed fifth wheel. We're a tongue and groove plywood floor, enclosed underbelly, vacuum bonded walls construction, a well-constructed a well roof, wood truss roof, walk-on roof. So it's, it's a all season vehicle, mm -hmm. but it's, it's got a, compressor refrigerator. This unit here is standard with two air conditioners. The, the dealer here at the show equips them all with a third air conditioner, so they'll all have three air conditioners. They all have a cornhole boards underneath the dinette mm -hmm. seats, so you can have a cornhole board storage, so it comes with a set yeah. of cornhole boards. Well, that's and that's cool. just something that goes along with camping. Well, you know, one thing you said is, yeah, you, you've, I think the term is decontented some of the material, or some of the yes. RVs, but at the same time, though, adding two AC standard with a third optional is a great thing for a lot of folks. Because well, as, as nice as it is to have a four burner insignia cooktop or you know some other great feature, even auto leveling, if you can't enjoy your RV because it's too dang hot outside, 
your all the other features just help you set up for an unenjoyable experience. Well, that's that's one of the biggest complaints that you'll hear over time with bigger RVs, especially bunkhouse type units. One room doesn't get as cool as the other. Well, that's why we've incorporated the three air conditioners on all of our models. This one has a mid bunk. That third air conditioner goes into that mid bunk room. Oh wow! So you're going to be so it's plenty a dedicated unit for the mid bunk for the mid bunk room. Oh, that's this unique. one up here is a rear bunk room. The third air conditioner goes into the bunk room in the back. Okay. So that's just, you know, that's where you need that extra cooling yeah. is, you know, it's because that room is usually going to get closed off because the kids are going to want to hide from you. So they're going to want to close the door. So there does need to be some adequate cooling in there. Well, let's hop into this unit first. We'll do another video on the other one. Give me the nickel tour. All right. So this is the 36 MB for mid bunk. You, can, I, you don't know how many broken glass holes I've seen. Okay, so we're going to start here in the back of the unit. What I love about mid bunks is that you maintain that very popular rear living room floor plan design, which is yes. very, very popular because it gets everyone in the same room in a very comfortable living room environment like you would at your home, and it surrounds you with windows. Certainly. And everybody can gather around together. The one beauty about our mid bunk is the door being access to the kitchen. Yep. Now, if you have kids, they can be a part of this. It just makes it feel more part of the living space. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Instead of being closed off in the hallway. Yep, absolutely. But in the bed, we, you know, this sofa makes into a bed. We got theater seating that reclines. Mm -hmm. Television, naturally, with a fireplace. Yep, you got a good size pantry in good here. Good size pantry. Three burner gray stone cooktop with small oven, compact microwave, 12 volt refrigerator. 12 volt compressor refrigerator. Great, great. Thermofoil countertop, undermount, basin sink. Good deal. I don't see any heat registers. They're not so in guys, the floor. You guys we've run got them, on the side of the island. We've got them hidden in the island and so forth so that we don't have all the little yeah. crumbles going in the. Yeah, and then you got the, the flush floor. floor system going on as yes. well. Very nice. Flush floor over here. Very cool. Pleated blinds. Let's work our way up towards the mid bunk, or I guess towards the front, and then we'll come back and take a look at the mid bunk. Which means it runs all the time. This is where our monitor panel system is. We have a tankless water heater. Here's the control panel oh, wow. for it. We have a, a, a power management system with the three air conditioners. You need to have a power management system with 50 amp service so you can just run them all three and not have to worry about it. Yeah, yep. You know, a size bathroom. Real quick, and I hate to interject this, but I will. But it's funny because, you know, I've, I've toured some really high-end luxury RVs. And it's funny. Some of the things, yes, you've absolutely decontented some stuff in here. There's some things that you're not going to see in here that you'd expect to see in a Riverstone or, you know, even a, a you know, a high-end Columbus unit or whatnot. But there's some things in here that are really, really important, like the power management system. It's hard to to emphasize how important something like that is to be able to run your three ACs off 50 amps. It just makes life yep. easy. 12 you volt, know, you know, fridge. User friendly. Yep. You know, this 12 volt refrigerator, turn it on in an hour you can load it up. Where the mm -hmm. traditional LP gas refrigerator, yep. we got to turn it on today so we can load it tomorrow. And it's got to be perfectly level the, the whole refrigerator, time. refrigerator, yep. it's more like what you're used to using at home. Absolutely. You know, so. Nice bathroom, shower. Incorporate a little place for medicine cabinet without doors. That's a good size shower. So that's got a skylight for the tall folks. Yep. A couple of hooks for towels. A lot of leg room in front of the toilet too. And you know what's even better is if you get a unit like this and you've saved yourself fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, you can easily add some of the upgrades you might like. Maybe you want a porcelain foot flush toilet later. You can get the toilet, which isn't that huge of an investment, and replace your toilet. You, if know, you, you know, that's the way it used to be in this yeah. industry. And at some point, somebody decided, let's put everything on them so that there is nothing to add. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, you know, and that's kind of maxed out, where there's not much more to add. So we've kind of gone back to make it more affordable. Mm -hmm. And you can add what you want and what you feel comfortable with. You yeah, know, that's a big point. thing. King size bed. Nice, a lot of room next to the bed, too. Storage under the bed. Great. And then the slot you see there, that cabinetry there is a wardrobe, but it's also prepped for a washer and dryer. Okay. So you can put a stackable washer and dryer in that cabinet. Oh, there's your dryer vent. And you don't Connection lose there. any wardrobe space because we've got the wardrobe across the front. It gives you a good size wardrobe with some shoe storage. 
that's to turn on a shelf for blankets and hoodies and sweatshirts all of our drawers are soft closed drawers so you don't have to have a latch on the drawers oh very nice so that is actually really cool because i didn't expect to see soft closed drawers yeah. on here and that main thing is you don't have to have a latch then on yeah. the drawers but honestly there have been a lot of brands that have actually removed soft closing drawers as a feature of their rv to save some cost but it's Certainly. nice that you put them back here well you know the latches never line up yep they are you know they're always a problem they get knocked off mm -hmm. with this you don't have to worry about it yeah that's true very nice let's go check out the mid bunk real quick one thing okay. unique about this bunk room is most all your bunks will have a loft but they don't have the loft inside the bunk yeah, room. I just noticed that. This loft is in the bunk room. So when the kids can all be together, they can be separated, but at least they can all be in one room. Yeah, and the air conditioning and everything is all inside the same air space. The third air conditioner in here, so you're gonna have plenty of cooling. It's got a furnace vent, so you got ducted you know, furnace. So it should be comfortable. Got two fixed bunks. And we have a third mattress on the floor so you can oh, slide wow. out for somebody sleeping yeah. on the floor. Bring the kids along and their friends. Yep. Very nice. Plus a lot of wardrobe storage. Wardrobe storage. Oh, wow. And it's deeper than I thought it was going to be, too. Shelves down below. We put the little storage tubs in here so you can organize things, keep things organized together. Very nice. Spot for your shoes, too. Uh-huh. Very cool. Well, let's step outside real quick. All right. So, Glenn, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Very, very cool. I understand what you're doing here and it totally makes sense because RVs are never going to be what they cost four years ago. It's just the fact of the matter is everything's gone up in price. Materials have gone up in price, everything. So what you guys are trying to do is make it easier for someone to get a good size RV with the amenities that they want and that they need, but maybe not some of them that they would like to have exactly. and some other ones. And, but the minute you look at this one and you look at a comparable unit, but that has all that other stuff, you have to justify, am I going to pay $15,000 more for that or $20,000 more for that? Exactly. So if you're willing to do a little bit of a DIY later on, add stuff later, you can get into a really nice, good size fifth wheel for an affordable price. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, the, the big thing is the majority of the things that, that we've taken out, people have that already that's portable, they can take with them. Yeah. whether it's electronics or sound system or barbecue grills or griddles or all of those things it's all stuff that people already have you know and it's a much better quality to use than what you yeah. would probably come with some of the rvs that's true because a lot of times the rv manufacturers will just try to buy stuff in bulk from whoever they can just to throw it in and say well, it's all about it. the price you're right it's all about the price well glenn i really appreciate it we're gonna have another uh, video here real soon with you in another rv guys okay. if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up we'll talk to you again real soon